Hi guys, Kimmy here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna share with you how I did this bridal nail and I love it so so much and I hope you guys will do too. I hope you can like the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prepping my nails and right here I'm pushing back my cuticle and I do it really, really gentle just to push up any of the dead skin and push the cuticle back. And right now I'm going in with some cuticle bit. This one I got from Amazon, like a Russian cuticle bit. And I'm just gonna push the cuticle back even more further and clean out whatever left around the cuticle area. So when I do this step, I have it at 5,000 RPM and I do it really, really gentle and slow around the cuticle. So today I was um, going to try out the Aurora glass paper. Uh, this is my first time ever trying it out. So I'm going to have some attempting that, you know, didn't come out right. I just want to share with you guys how my experience, the first time using it. And um, I really, really love the way it turned out uh, at the end. But you're going to see right now what I'm talking about when um, I say that, you know, I fell like a first couple of times. So right here, I'm just removing the natural shine on top of my nail uh, to make sure the nail will have something to wrap on so that it will last longer. And right here, I'm just using some lip free wipe to wipe off any dust. Today, I'm using the protein bond from the Young Nail and I really love this nail primer and I do it two coats. Today I'm using this Cody rubber base gel. I got this one on Amazon. This is my first time ever trying it out. So I'm gonna test it out and my next video I'm gonna let you guys know is it last or how is it you know like if I would like it. So the consistency is really really thick. It's like um like a builder gel in the bottle kind of. So right now I'm using um, the tip, full cover nail tip in the shape coffin from e -Nail Couture today. So usually I really like the long nail, but for today look, I really love this length. It's like a medium size, not too long, not too short. And right here I'm signing all my nail and today I will try to use this DIY light from e -Nail Couture. So when I would do um, the nail, uh, today I'm going to do the Lazy Girl Method, aka Femi Beauty Method. So I thought that DIY light would be more helpful. So right now just, re just um, this is the Aurora paper glass that I'm going to use today. I got this one from Shen. And this one I like it because they already cut for you so you don't have to cut it that much. But I know that I really like the way it looks when I cut it right here when I try to cut like a, a um, like a triangle shape. So when you place on your nail the triangle shape actually give you that look uh, looks so much prettier than the little ones like a straight one right there that I already cut. So I definitely going to try this Aurora nail one more time and the next time I'm going to do like a whole nail. So here I look after I cut them all and today I'm going to use this base gel from Model 1. So this first nail right here I'm trying it out and it was kind of like a fail. I'm just going to apply this um, Aurora paper glass or glass paper on top of the base gel. So they have something to stick on. So 
So at first, I was trying to go with the look because I seen a lot of video and anybody else when they doing this nail. They were trying to rub the unicorn chrome on top. Oh, right here, I was struggling because this lamb, they die on me. Um, that was so sad. So I come back with my bestie flashlight to flash kill this nail. Um, so right now I'm applying the top coat so to rub the unicorn chrome on top. I mean on top, but if you do the other way around, you're gonna rub the chrome on first. But with this uh, method, we're gonna do the opposite way around, which is gonna rub the chrome after. So what I make mistake right here, I should have applied the top coat on the whole tip instead of just doing that area only. So what happened right here, when I rub the chrome on, they leave a line right there. And I was trying to go with like an ombre look, but because of the way I did it, the top coat just stopped right there. So they make like a mark light right there. So right here, I'm trying to get some glitter poly gel um, to cover it up, to try to make it like an ombre, but it, kind of fell I still see the light going through so I go ahead and do it again the same thing but this time I didn't rub the I didn't rub the chrome on just the the glass paper by itself and then I use this glitter poly gel uh, from a car this is the one from uh, Mari Mariposa handsome maybe I say it wrong but yeah sorry um from that collection so right here i just try to blend it in to make it like an ombre look so the tip was kind of clear and a rather cuticle area is that glitter to blend it out like an ombre so right here i'm applying the top coat underneath so they won't get any dust or anything in the nail and i cure it so the next thing i'm just gonna keep it simple right here i use this poly gel from beetle in the dark pink color and I'm gonna apply it on all the nails so my plan was for this nail is I'm gonna do a, a V tip French V tip in white so I'm gonna keep it really simple with the poly gel I'm gonna do them all pink so this poly gel the consistency is really stiff which I like and it worked really really well with base coat and I love this pink color it turned out how exactly I thought it would be and right here I'm just gonna place it on my nail and put it in the lamp and cure it for 30 seconds so I repeat the same thing in my middle finger but this time I applying that glitter on the whole nail so you can see the ring finger right here. I did the same thing, but I didn't use that glitter color. I used the pink, the translucent pink, and I absolutely love the way it turned out. So after I fell that nail and the second time with the glitter also, I realized that with this kind of Aurora, uh, especially the, the little piece like this, I think the if you will have like a translucent or like a jelly color, it will look so much better because it's more clear. So it show the reflection of that Aurora paper glass better. So I really, really love the way it turned out on that ring finger. So the next time if I were gonna do it again, I definitely gonna do with like a color that really clear or translucent like the pink one right here because the one with the glitter somehow it didn't really show that reflection that much it still look really cute but um, that's not really what I imagine it will be so if any of you can want to try this out that you never tried it before I recommend you know try something that really uh, more clear on the clearer side like a jelly look more than the glitter so right now i'm just gonna use that fine bit to smooth it out around the cuticle area and i'm going back again with this um, drill bit 
I know this one is not for everyone. If you are a beginner, it's going to be a little bit more risky because you're going to cut yourself. But I love that one because I can clean it out around the cuticle area really, really nicely. And then make it look more natural. So right here, I'm just going to shape my nail. And I love this method because when you do the shaping, it was so much easier and make your life so much easier because you don't have to really do that much because the shape already there when you use the the nail tip they already come with a really nice shape so I'm just gonna buffer all my nail and so with this nail um, in the last minute when I was starting to polish my nail I changed my mind because I love the way the ring finger looks so so much so when right here my favorite part applying the top coat I have to do the ring finger first and that's my favorite finger right now so far so I wanted to make the ring finger stand out so I designed to applying another glitter polish on top of the other two nails that have the Aurora uh, paper, glass paper. So um, it will be, you know, make the ring finger a little bit more stand out. And I also love more glitter. My bridal nail, so definitely I have to have some glitter, not too crazy, but at least something because glitter is one of my favorite things when it comes to do nails. Um, I love it so much. So right here, I'm just gonna top coat all of my nail, get ready to polish the other two, and do the V-tip on my index and pinky. So today I'm going to using this white gel polish from Enel Couture. I like this gel polish because it's really pigmented, it's really thick, so I don't have to use the, the thicker kind of gel polish for the design. I'm just going to use this one only and it's actually um, stayed really good, it doesn't move around. So right here, I was trying to making a V tip, and I was trying my best to make it a straight line and making sure the V part in the middle of the light. So because I was doing it this way, when I put my hand the other side, so I know that the V tip a little bit crooked. So then I have to turn it around and look it on my side to making sure again to make it more straight so i will fix it real fast so today with this v-tip i will going for the look um with some fairy dust where is the white part at so right now when i'm done the white part without curing the white gel polish the v-tip i'm gonna pour it on top this fairy dust and then cure the nail in the lamp for 30 seconds. And I love the way it turned out so, so much. So right here, I'm just brush off any of the excess fairy dust. And here it is. It gave me a vibe of bridal nail. And I repeat the same thing on the pinky. So today I'm using this fun gel from Inno Couture and I'm going to cover it up the middle finger and the thumb with this glitter. Um, it looks really really beautiful. I love this color so so much. And because I have that poly gel underneath, I have like a pink purple look. So when I apply this one on top, it that purple is still going through the nail. 
and I really like the way it look so today I'm gonna do some 3d flower by using this 3d gel and I got this one from Amazon so what this kind of gel is kind of like you're playing with play-doh um, the consistency kind of like a play-doh so right I'm just trying to divine and for even part and I'm gonna roll it into a circle so because I'm allergic to acrylic um, so that's why I'm stopped using acrylic powder to make a 3d flower because that what I used to do so when it comes to this 3d gel I'm not an expert it's actually completely different than the acrylic the way it feel the way um, how to work with it is different but what I really love about this is that it doesn't cure until you place it in the light so if you are a beginner um, it will be great so because it, it gives you plenty of time to work with it until you're happy with the way it looks then you put in the lamp to cure but somehow I feel like if you are used to it with the 3d acrylic then this one is actually a completely different feel when you're making the flower it doesn't look as sharp or maybe it's just me because I'm not used to it with it I actually not using it this all the time I only use it like once a while so before I will sometime even put them in the 3d mode so they come out really perfect that way but because today I wanted to make it by hand to make it a little bit more special because the uh, bridal right nail so I go ahead and making this flower right here a little bit big so I was just trying to go with the most symbolic flower right here I just trying to make them like a circle and make them a little bit more pointy in the middle so right here I'm just playing some rhinestone in the middle and this one I got them from Red Iwana it's a Radowski rhinestone and then I also make another little petal on the side right here just to make it a little bit more I mean not too empty the nail just to have some extra decorate for the flower so after I'm done in this, I'm going to also place a little bit more of the smaller rhinestone around the nail to make it look a little bit more fancy, which is this nail do look fancy and I'm really happy about that. <laughs> So after I'm done this middle finger, I also do some uh, 3D flower on my thumb. But because it takes too long, so I don't want to keep you guys here all day. So I do the thumb off camera. And I actually really love the way it turned out on the thumb. Because I do it more um, like a smaller petal. And I really love how it turned out the way it looks more than the big flower but you know practice make it perfect the more you do it the more you get the hang of it and actually it's gonna come out better so after I applying the gel rhinestone from a car I place a rhinestone and put the top coat around the rhinestone and I'm also gonna apply the rhinestone um, on the ring finger at first, I was just going for around the cuticle area only because I wanted to show that Aurora glass paper. But then I wanted to go for the look bridal and I wanted to be more fancier. So that's why at the end, I end up applying more rhinestone and I apply like a heart rhinestone right there and it turned out really cute. So here's the thumb. And I really love the way it look with the smaller flower. So I also did my right hand off camera. I'll repeat something similar um, 
with you know one nail 3d and rhinestone more actually because i was struggling when i do the 3d nail on my right hand with my non-dominant hand but when you look far away it doesn't look that bad but just don't look it closely because <laughs> it's not really that good but i'm still happy with the way it turned out so here the finished look i hope you guys likes it um and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell notification so you won't miss out any of my future video. And I hope you can have a great day and I will see you again next time. Bye!